While cranes and bulldozers are busy excavating what is to become Resorts World at Sentosa, excavation of a very different sort was initiated in July of 2007. To minimize the impact on Sentosa's natural habitat, about 100 corals were moved to a new home in the Southern Islands. The carefully coordinated move took three weeks and was done in one of the world's busiest harbors. It involved numerous support boats, equipment, and over a dozen divers. Divers reported the coral density along Sentosa's surrounding waters was sparse, with less than 10% of the area covered by coral reefs. These marine creatures were a part of Sentosa and Singapore's natural marine heritage, so RWS took the initiative to save these unique marine creatures. The move started in June of 2007, and the process was grueling for the marine biologist heading the program. Hammers and chisels were used to carefully remove sphere-shaped brain corals from the seabed. Divers could stay underwater only 30 to 45 minutes before replacing their tanks. Lift bags were used to move the largest of the corals off the seabed to stainless steel holding cages. These cages are built specifically to move corals and several strong pairs of hands are needed to haul these large cages on board the waiting support boats. Smaller corals were moved by hand onto the boat. Great care was taken to prepare them for the journey to the southern islands. To decrease the stress on the corals caused by heat, marine biologists used damp newspapers to cover each of the corals during the transit. Under stress, corals often excrete a slimy mucus and if left in a container of water, this mucus would likely suffocate the animals that made up the coral. In addition to the corals, dozens of reef residents such as frogfish, sea slugs, and an octopus were also relocated to the safer, more suitable habitat. While diving near the support columns of the old ferry terminal, the divers made an unplanned but welcome rescue of more than a dozen seahorses. Over a span of three weeks, dive boats made numerous trips to transport the coral, chugging along at a turtle speed of four knots to avoid damage to the delicate corals suspended in the baskets. The corals and other creatures' new home was picked for its similarity in depth and distance to shore as the original coral reef. To help mature corals stay attached to the seabed, epoxy cement was mixed to hold them in place while the coral's natural anchors worked to permanently secure it to the nearby rocks. Once the coral has become permanently attached, the cement disintegrates. In April of 2008, a marine survey showed that more than three quarters of the transplanted corals are doing well. In addition to the thriving coral, the most delicate of the other species that were transported, the seahorses, had settled into their new home. Given the magnitude of the project and sensitivity of marine creatures, the coral relocation was a success. 